9th of uh, February, I think it was, uh, World War II, about 242 Japanese uh, bombers, all those little zero planes came over and dropped more than 600 bombs on poor old Darwin and surrounding areas. They just put that into comparison. Pearl Harbor, there was only about 400 and something dropped, but here, over 600. And the, uh, the war on Darwin raged well into 1943, so 1942, 1943. So my concern here is, will my magnet pick up an unexploded ordnance? If it does, well, we know what's going to happen, don't we? Okay, we're ready to launch. Our rookie mistake would be not to tie up the end of the rope to one of the bars on the jetty, otherwise you're gonna lose a lot. If it gets out of hand, like pulling up something too big that you're not capable of bringing in. Anyway, so we've got our little magnet here. We've got a caravan attached to the little loop. So this will be lowered in and hopefully we'll get something. We've got 20 meters of rope, so that's plenty. I reckon it's probably about 15 metres to the bottom from the top of the jetty. Now let's do this. Just a hint, make sure you just keep it away from the metal pillars of the jetty because it might you might find it hard to bring it bring it back in. Just remember it's not like trying to catch real fish. A bit of metal isn't gonna want to swim towards your magnet, so you just gotta keep prodding it around, hope for the best. Okay, it's you and the magnet. It's not luck of the bait you're using. So just keep moving it around, you could get lucky. If there's nothing here after five, 10 minutes, then move to another spot. Too easy. Don't know if you can see it, but I'll bring it up. I just brought the magnet back in. First pull up ever, and then of course there's nothing on it. But I did actually feel something gripping on it when I was in the water, so there is something metal down there. So I'm gonna drop it down again. Okay, wish me luck. No idea what I've just caught. It's metal. There's actually a bit of fishing line wrapped around and we'll lure it. Or the weight. Take weight. Not sure what that is. Anyway, I'm happy. I don't believe it. I've just lowered the rope down again. And I've definitely got something on it. So I'll bring that up now and see what it is. Now, unfortunately, it was a long metal rod. It dropped off. I don't really want to take that home anyway. Just another bit of advice. If there are fishermen on the jetty or wherever you're going to go, um, I reckon they, they've got priority. So just give them the courtesy of not dropping your, your large magnet, whatever, right near them. Give them plenty of room. If they're in your favorite spot already, well, suck it up, buttercup. Move along to the other end of the jetty or somewhere else, okay? Right is the spice of life. All right, there you go. Well, I only got the one thing. First time that I've been out here with it. I'm happy. I don't want to stay out of here too long. Probably can start to get sunburnt. Uh, anyway, I might have to get a bigger a magnet actually because I've felt a few things actually connect. But as I'm dragging them up, they um, dropped off. I might have to pull out the big gun soon. All right, you know, I keep um, up to date with our vlogs. Uh, we're trying to get out um, one every now and then. It's a bit hard to keep up with work and all that, but um, anyway. Uh, so just um, like, share and subscribe our channel, that'd be great. And we never know what you're going to get on our channel. Like last time it was bonsai plants, today it's uh, magnet fishing. Alright, so, but I'll definitely get another magnet fishing one out. Probably just tap it on to the end of this vlog. Okay, take care people. Full of advice today. Another bit of advice. Don't take this magnet fishing too serious. It's just something different. Okay, enjoy it. Great creativity, get the outdoors anyway. Away from any computer or computer games that you guys, young and old, may want to be glued to. Get out and get some fresh air. You never know, you might strike it lucky. Just got home. Um, I actually found out what this is that I got out of the, uh, the ocean, off the jetty. On my way back off the jetty, I ran into an old fisherman that was casting a line, and he saw me holding this, walking past him, and he said, oh, that's one of the brackets that held um, the scaffolding together actually off the old jetty and they're rebuilding it. So there you go. That's a good start. Don't knock it till you try it. See ya.